hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel algorithm pod my name is jitesh and here today here i am with a new video of our data mining series so let's jump right into it make sure to act to watch this playlist right from the start for better understanding of topics so that you cannot miss any other topic now let's jump into this video so in this video we are going to talk about association rule mining so this is one of the techniques of data mining so it is basically a technique what is before trying to understand this association pool mining let's try to understand what an association means association simply means a relationship a connection between two items over a particular data type that that is basically association so the main idea behind this association rule mining is to identify the patterns that occur frequently now these can these patterns are represented are called as association rules association rules and these rules can be used to make predictions about the future data now we have mining frequent patterns now basically what we are trying to do is as in association mining association rule mining is to find frequent patterns basically with the help of these association rules now this is basically the key step in association rule mining the main aim is to identify items that occur repeatedly now these the these set of uh, these set of items which are occurring together but in a particular order uh, with high degree of frequency basically are these are represented in the form of item sets now there are some few steps which we need which we need to perform for this my frequent mining of frequent patterns first the data set is transformed basically to basically make it to uh, easy for us to analyze it then the second is to identify support if you recall i have explained support in our previous videos support is basically a number of times an item has occurred in a particular data set that is basically support now the third step is identifying the patterns identifying the patterns that can be used to generate association rules the association rules looks something like this or something like this we can use now based on these association rules the support and confidence are decided if the for for a association rule to be valid it should have it should have met minimum support and minimum confidence threshold the minimum support usually typically means it is considered as two it means the items should be repeated at least once in a particular data set the common application of this association rule or frequent pattern is market basket analysis basically market basket analysis simply concerns with analyzing the customer purchase pattern now we have a time interval from a to b in this time interval uh, there we will try to understand how many items that particular customer has purchased so based on that we can predict what can custom what customer can purchase in the future so that we will show show those particular items in his feed accordingly so that is how market market basket analysis is done so that's it guys for this video make sure to like this video subscribe to our youtube channel hit the bell icon for future notifications so that's it guys for this video see you guys until next time